another episode of basic introduction and user guide of Senko gas detectors. So today we are going to talk about Senko's single gas detector, which is really famous SGT gas detector. So here is the new SGT detector with O2. So we are going to open the gas uh, case and we are going to have English manual, calibration test and calibration tool which is cap and synchronous detector. So basically this instrument is very unique as well as in SGTP. So this instrument also has integrated infrared portal which you can download your event logs. And this is a disposable gas detector which is after two years, at least two years you will use and just throw away. So, so let's begin, let's turn on the detector and go through the warm-up so here we get the stabilized ambient measuring range after the quick warm-up so let's go to through it and see the functions what we have there first it will show you the minimum measuring range that gas detector already detected and the maximum range of the detector. So next, you can also clear the detected alarms, like maximum and minimum level of detection. And also it will show the remaining lifetime of the gas detector. Basically it's 24 months. As you know, it's disposable. The next is the first alarm and the second alarm of the detector. So the firmware version and the calibration. So as you can see, it's basic, very simple to use. There is nothing to, to complicate it. So let us do some tests with gas. So before we test, here we have a gas cylinder which has 99.99% .99 nitrogen, so 0% of oxygen. Let us see. I don't know if it will show zero or... So I'm gonna open the gas cylinder. Here we go. Wow. This is absolutely so fast, that's insane. Wow. So here we got 0, 0.0 volume of oxygen, which is exactly same with our gas cylinder. If you can see, that's really fast. It has really fast reaction. Let us see how it will go up. So you see, it came to normal ambient measurement, 20.9, so which is quite good. So very simple to use. So minimum value is zero point, which we already detected and maximum is 20.9 it didn't go up yet because we don't have higher value of oxygen now so remaining time so let us calibrate calibration process is also very simple very there is nothing to worry about it and it's really easy so when you get to this function just press and hold the button for three seconds so it will require you to do zero calibration this icon and if you press one more it will show you standard gas calibration so let us and one if you press one more it will escape the function 
So let us go to zero calibration. Zero calibration is basically, as you know, in fresh air should be done. So it takes only 10 seconds for zeroing the sensor. So if it's successfully done, there will be icon of V, seems like a V, but if it fails, it will show you X. So once we are done the fresh air calibration successfully, let's go to standard gas calibration. So once we click and hold the button, there will be 60 seconds. Again, it depends on gas type. So remaining time, time of standard gas calibration depends on gas. For O2, it takes only one minute. So here we get the gas calibration successfully done. Yes, you can see it shows V.